Angolan Armed Forces. The Angolan Armed Forces, Portuguese, Forças Armadas Angolanas, or FAA are the military of Angola. The FAA include the general staff of the armed forces and three components, the Army, Exército, the Navy, Marinha de Guerra, and the National Air Force National Air Force. Reported total manpower in 2013 was about 107,000. The FAA is headed by Chief of the General Staff Geraldo Sacapango Nunda since 2010, who reports to the Minister of National Defense, currently Salviano de Jesus Sequeira. The FAA succeeded to the previous People's Armed Forces for the Liberation of Angola, FAPLA, following the abortive BICES Accord with the Armed Force of the Liberation of Angola, FALA, Armed Wing of the National Union for the Total Independence of Angola, UNITA. As part of the peace agreement, troops from both armies were to be demilitarized and then integrated. Integration was never completed as UNITA and FALA went back to war in 1992. Later, consequences for FALA personnel in Luanda were harsh with FAPLA veterans persecuting their erstwhile opponents in certain areas and reports of vigilantism. The Army, as Arcito, is the land component of the FAA. It is organized in six military regions Cabinda, Luanda, North. Center, East and South, with an infantry division being based in each one. Distributed by the six military regions, infantry divisions, there are 25 motorized infantry brigades, one tank brigade and one engineering brigade. The Army also includes an artillery regiment, the Military Artillery School, the Army Military Academy, an anti-aircraft defense group, a composite land artillery group a military police regiment, a logistical transportation regiment and a field artillery brigade. The Army further includes the Special Forces Brigade, including commandos and special operations units, but this unit is under the direct command of the General Staff of the FAA. On August 1, 1974 a few months after a military coup d'état had overthrown the Lisbon regime and proclaimed its intention of granting independence to Angola, the MPLA announced the formation of FAPLA, which replaced the APLA. By 1976 FAPLA had been transformed from lightly armed guerrilla units into a national army capable of sustained field operations. In 1990-91, the army had 10 military regions and an estimated 73-plus brigades, each with a mean strength of 1,000 and comprising INF, tank, APC, artillery, and AA units as required. The Library of Congress said in 1990 that Tihi Regular Army's 91,500 troops were organized into more than 70 brigades ranging from 750 to 1,200 men each and deployed throughout the 10 military regions. Most regions were commanded by lieutenant colonels, with majors as deputy commanders, but some regions were commanded by majors. Each region consisted of one to four provinces, with one or more infantry brigades assigned to it. The brigades were generally dispersed in battalion or smaller unit formations to protect strategic terrain, urban centers, settlements, and critical infrastructure such as bridges and factories. Counterintelligence agents were assigned to all field units to thwart to need infiltration. The Army's diverse combat capabilities were indicated by its many regular and motorized infantry brigades with organic or attached armor, artillery, and air defense units, two militia infantry brigades four anti-aircraft artillery brigades, ten tank battalions, and six artillery battalions. These forces were concentrated most heavily in places of strategic importance and recurring conflict, the oil-producing Cabinda province, the area around the capital, and the southern provinces where UNITA and South African forces operated. It was reported in 2011 that the army was by far the largest of the services with about 120,000 men and women. The Angolan army has around 29,000 ghost workers who remain enrolled in the ranks of the FAA and therefore receive a salary. In 2013, the International Institute for Strategic Studies reported that the FAA had six divisions, the 1st, 5th, and 6th with two or three infantry brigades, and the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th with five to six infantry brigades. The 4th division included a tank regiment, a separate tank brigade and special forces brigade where A also reported. As of 2011, the IS reported the ground forces had 42 armored-slash-infantry regiments, detachments-slash-groups, strength varies, and 16 infantry brigades apostrophe. These probably comprised infantry, tanks, APC, artillery, and AA units as required. 
Major equipment included over 140 main battle tanks, 600 reconnaissance vehicles, over 920 AFVs, infantry fighting vehicles, 298 howitzers. It was reported on May 3, 2007, that the Special Forces Brigade of the Angolan Armed Forces, FAA, located at Cabo Lado region, northern Bengo province, would host a 29th anniversary celebration for the entire armed forces. The brigade was reportedly formed on May 5, 1978 and under the command at the time of Colonel Paolo Falcao. The Army operates a large amount of Russian, Soviet and ex-Warsaw Pact hardware. A large amount of its equipment was acquired in the 1980s and 1990s most likely because of hostilities with neighboring countries and its civil war which lasted from November 1975 until 2002. There is an interest from the Angolan Army for the Brazilian Astros II multiple rocket launcher. Many of Angola's weapons are of Portuguese colonial and Warsaw Pact origin. Jane's Information Group lists the following as in service. The National Air Force of Angola, FANA. Força Aérea Nacional de Angola, is the air component of the FAA. It is organized in six aviation regiments, each including several squadrons. To each of the regiments correspond an air base. Besides the aviation regiments, there is also a pilot training school. The Air Force's personnel total about 8,000, its equipment includes transport aircraft and six Russian-manufactured Sukhoi Su-27 fighter aircraft. In 2002 one was lost during the civil war with UNITA forces. In 1991, the Air Force slash Air Defense Forces had 8,000 personnel and 90 combat-capable aircraft, including 22 fighters, 59 fighter ground attack aircraft and 16 attack helicopters. The Angola Navy, MGA, Marinha de Guerra de Angola, is the naval component of the FAA. It is organized in two naval zones, north and south, with naval bases in Luanda, Lobito, and Mosamites. It includes a Marines brigade and a Marines school, based in Ombres. The Navy numbers about 1,000 personnel and operates only a handful of small patrol craft and barges. The Navy has been neglected and ignored as a military arm mainly due to the guerrilla struggle against the Portuguese and the nature of the civil war. From the early 1990s to the present the Angolan Navy has shrunk from around 4,200 personnel to around 1,000, resulting in the loss of skills and expertise needed to maintain equipment. In order to protect Angola's 1 plus 600 km long coastline, the Angolan Navy is undergoing modernization but is still lacking in many ways. Portugal has been providing training through its Technical Military Cooperation, CTM, program. The Navy is requesting procurement of a frigate, three corvettes, three offshore patrol vessel and additional fast patrol boats. Most of the vessels in the Navy's inventory dates back from the 1980s or earlier, and many of its ships are inoperable due to age and lack of maintenance. However the Navy acquired new boats from Spain and France in the 1990s. Germany has delivered several fast attack craft for border protection in 2011. In September 2014 it was reported that the Angola Navy would acquire seven Maca A-class patrol vessels from Brazil as part of a technical memorandum of understanding, MO, covering the production of the vessels as part of Angola's naval power development program, PRONAVAL. The military of Angola aims to modernize its naval capability presumably due to a rise in maritime piracy within the Gulf of Guinea which may have an adverse effect on the country's economy. The Navy's current known inventory includes the following. The Navy also has several aircraft for maritime patrol. The FAA includes several types of special forces, namely the commandos, the special operations and the marines. The Angolan special forces follow the general model of the analogous Portuguese special forces, receiving a similar training. The commandos and the special forces are part of the Special Forces Brigade, BRIF, Brigada de Forces Especiais, based at Cabo Lado, in the Bengo province. The BRIF includes two battalions of commandos, a battalion of special operations and subunits of combat support and service support. The BRIF also included the Special Actions Group, GAY, Grupo de Soes Especiais, which is presently inactive and that was dedicated to long range reconnaissance, covert, and sabotage operations. In the Cabo Lado base is also installed the Special Forces Training School, EFE, Escala de Formação de Forces Especiais. Both the BRIF and the EFE are directly under the Directorate of Special Forces of the General Staff of the Armed Forces. The Marines, Fusiliros Neves, constitute the Marines Brigade of the Angolan Navy.
the Marines Brigade is not permanently dependent of the Directorate of Special Forces, but can detach their units and elements to be put under the command of that body for the conduction of exercises or real operations. Since the disbandment of the Angolan Parachute Battalion in 2004, the FAA do not have a specialized paratrooper unit. However, elements of the commandos, special operations, and marines are parachute qualified. The FAPLA's main counterinsurgency effort was directed against UNITA in the southeast, and its conventional capabilities were demonstrated principally in the undeclared South African border war. The FAPLA first performed its external assistance mission with the dispatch of 1,000 to 1,500 troops to Sao Tome and Principe in 1977 to bolster the socialist regime of President Manuel Pinto da Costa. During the next several years, Angolan forces conducted joint exercise with their counterparts and exchanged technical operational visits. The Angolan Expeditionary Force was reduced to about 500 in early 1985. The Angolan Armed Forces were controversially involved in training the armed forces of fellow Lusophone states Cape Verde and Guinea-Bissau. In the case of the latter, the 2012 Guinea-Bissau coup d'état was cited by the coup leaders as due to Angola's involvement in trying to reform the military in connivance with the civilian leadership. A small number of FAA personnel are stationed in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Kinshasa, and the Republic of the Congo, Brazzaville. A presence during the unrest in Ivory Coast. 2010 to 2011, were not officially confirmed. However, the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, citing Jeune Afrique, said that among President Kabogbo's guards were 92 personnel of President Dos Santos's presidential guard unit. Angola is basically interested in the participation of the FAA operations of the African Union and has formed special units for this purpose. David Birmingham, African Affairs, Volume 77, Number 309, October 1978. Pages 554 to 564 published by Oxford University Press on behalf of the Royal African Society. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.